These are my top 10 native plugins from Universal Audio. Yes, native, which means everyone can get them and use them with any DAW, any audio interface. Watch through the whole video because I'll show you some secrets and tips along the way. Let's get started. Okay, I wanna begin with Studer A800 Tape. Studer Tape makes it on my list because it's an easy way to add warmth to your music. Did you know that the original Studer A800 was used by tons of artists like Michael Jackson, Stevie Wonder, and U2? This is so useful to help get rid of that artificial electronic sound. Here are the drums first without Studer Tape added. And now let's put it in. So much warmer, right? Now, let's try it on the master. Here's the before. Now let's add it in. Now here are a couple tricks. Under the hood, you can adjust the bias and you can get some really interesting results with this. You gotta play around with it and see what it does. It adds some saturation and even some bit crushing sounds. Check that out. All right, ready for another secret? Look at this tiny screw right here. This is the headroom screw on the Fairchild 670 compressor and it makes a huge difference. Now I've got some pretty heavy compression on this, but I want you to hear the before and after. Now the headroom's in its middle position and let's hear the vocals. Crazy in a world with no guarantee, no better place to be. Now let's turn the headroom screw all the way up. Crazy in a world with no guarantee. You hear that saturation? No better place to be with the one who didn't leave me. Now I've got this effect mixed in all the way, but you can lower the mix to kind of get it to your taste. Crazy. In the world with no guarantee. Now in the mix. Crazy. In the world with no guarantee. No better place to be. But the one who didn't leave me. Now you can tell that the presence has improved and the vocal is just so much more energetic. Okay, this vocal needs some reverb, right? Hitsville Chambers is great on vocals. Hitsville is actually the name of the recording studio where the biggest Motown singers recorded their vocals. And this is actually how it looks. I love the door that opens and closes whenever you make changes. Kind of like an engineer coming into the room, making a change and then leaving. Now, the reason this made my list is because it has a unique character compared to other standard reverb plugins. Crazy in the world with no guarantee, no better place to be. That's about enough. Let's try it in the mix. Crazy in the world with no guarantee, no better place to be. But the one who didn't leave me. Crazy in the world with no guarantee, no better place to be, but the one who didn't leave me. Okay, ready for another cool trick? You can actually add reverb chambers to a drum beat, lower the decay and mix, and it just brightens up the drums. Without. I just haven't been able to achieve this same kind of effect with any of my usual reverb plugins. It's super unique. Shout out to Drew for this tip. All right, next up, I use some Universal Audio instrument plugins on this track. This is the Waterfall B3, and I also used the Opal Morphing Synthesizer. But my favorite new instrument from Universal Audio has to be Polymax. It sounds amazing and it's easy to use. Also, I love vintage synths and this is actually inspired by some of the best Oberheims, Prophets, and Jupiters. Hit the like button if you like vintage synths.
Universal Audio also added their own effects to this thing, which makes it super unique. Now, I can't mention a synth without adding one of my favorite synth effects, Galaxy Tape Echo. This adds so much to any synth sound or electric pianos. The original Space Echo uses both tape and spring reverb styles. Let's try a patch from the Opal Morphing Synth. Now let's add Galaxy Echo. Instant vintage flavor done. Hey, if you're enjoying this video, hit the like button and leave a comment below with your favorite Universal Audio plugin or which one from this video you've enjoyed the most. All right, let's change up the song for the next two plugins in my list. I want you to hear how well the 1176 manages vocal compression. Before, couple glasses and the champagne pops, and on the floor while we both. Now I've turned it on, and I want you to listen to the word floor. Couple glasses and the champagne pops, and on the floor while we both detox, yo. It evened out everything and still keeps the vocal up front in the mix. And on the floor while we both. And on the floor while we both detox, yo. And here's an interesting trick. The AE version, the anniversary edition of the 1176, which I have open here, it's the one with the blue stripe, actually has a slow setting for the attack. This is the only 1176 that has this. So you can turn attack all the way down, and this keeps the 1176 character without that sometimes harsh attack. Couple glasses and the champagne pops. Then on the floor while we both detox, yo. It's still there, but you don't have as much attack on the compression. Now watch how the vocals get even better with the Oxide Tape Recorder. This is another one of those plugins that just makes everything sound better. I'm gonna solo the vocals this time. Without Oxide Tape. There's a rhythm of an open box. Move a little, groove a little. With it. There's a rhythm of an open box, move a little. It just adds that little bit of grit. And listen to what I'm talking about here. I'm gonna push it really hard. There's a rhythm of an open box, move a little, groove a little. So that's a lot more grit. But we're just gonna take it down a little bit and I'm gonna have you listen to it in the mix and you'll just hear how much more presence it adds. Here's before. There's a rhythm of an open box, move a little, groove a little. And with it. There's a rhythm of an open box, move a little, groove a little. On this track, I also put it on the drums, but I want you to hear the before. And now with it. Listen to it in the mix. Happens in my room, stays in my room, the way this scandal goes international. Just brings things to life, doesn't it? Okay, here's a little known fact. I have my own Rhodes Virtual Instrument and you can actually buy it on sanjc.com, but that's not what I'm here to talk about. I actually used a Universal Audio plugin to create the chorus sound for one of the presets for my Rhodes Instrument. So I used this Studio D chorus to create that sound. Now I want you to hear the dry road sound when I first recorded it. Now with the chorus. Such a gorgeous sound, and this is the plugin that I chose to create my Rhodes Chorus sound. And hey, if you're interested in buying it, I'll put it in the link below. Okay, so I've struggled for years to get my vocals right. You know, to have them prominent in the mix, cutting right through. Well, a channel strip kind of makes that easier. And the API channel strip is one of the best from Universal Audio. You get a mic pre, EQ, and a compressor, all in one. And well, just listen to the before and after. There is freedom within. There
There is freedom without Try to catch the deluge in a paper cup There's a battle ahead Many battles are lost But you never see the end of the road While you're traveling with me Let's listen to that line with it off There's a battle ahead Many battles are lost But you never see the end of the road While you're traveling with me so the compressor helps a lot, but also the EQ. Many battles are lost, but you never see the end of the road while you're traveling with me. So the compressor really brought up the quieter parts, but it also just adds this really nice tone to the entire thing. Many battles are lost, but you never see the end of the road while you're traveling with me. Hey now, hey now, don't treat it so. I use the Lexicon 224 Reverb on my vocals for this track, and it's another one of my top UA plugins. The original Lexicon 224 was one of the first digital reverb processors ever. You've probably seen this thing in tons of studio pictures. So it does awesome reverbs. There is freedom within, there is freedom without. Try to catch the deluge in a paper cup Many battles are lost But you never see the end of the road While you're traveling with me Hey now, hey now Don't treat it so hey now But here's a cool trick. Did you know that you can actually use this to get a chorus effect? Just hold shift and then press any of these buttons and now it's a chorus. There is freedom within, there is freedom without, try to catch the deluge in a big Subtle, cup. but it still has that Lexicon 224 character. I'm really excited that Universal Audio has added native plugins. It makes it so much more accessible for people. You can still get these in the Spark subscription plan, but you can also buy them outright individually. And the cool part is that they keep adding more plugins to their native plugin collection and Spark. And I'll put a link to all their plugins in the video description below. There you go, 10 of my favorite native plugins from Universal Universal Audio. Comment below if you have any questions. I'll add links to all these plugins in the video description below. By the way, I recorded the vocals in this song using the Volt audio interface by Universal Audio. I'm taking charge of the things I couldn't control. Pay attention to the fact that I wasn't alone. You can use all the plugins I've featured in this video with that interface or any interface, but the Volt has some special features you won't find on others. Watch my full demo right here. Keep making the music you love. Bye.